2021 Toyota Prius Review, Fading Fuel Sipper. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Just over 20 years ago, the Toyota Prius appeared in North America. No one, not Toyota, not the motoring press, not the general public, could have anticipated the impact that odd gas electric car was going to have. But two decades on and the rising popularity of crossovers, all-electric vehicles, and all-electric crossovers has taken the Prius from green car poster child to more of an afterthought. That just shouldn't be, though. Sure. It's weirdly styled, somewhat cramped, and an utter bore to drive, but the Prius can still sip fuel with the best of them. And with 2021 marking a big milestone, Toyota is celebrating the Prius 20th birthday with a new special edition trim, which features some flashy touches to complement its miserly fuel consumption and still comfy ride. There are more economical and cleaner products out there, but the Prius special edition proves it's still worth considering Toyota's breakout hybrid. Toyota's evolutionary approach between the second and third generation Prius went completely out the window when this car arrived back in 2015. Sharp, angry-eyed, and with solid haunches, it was like a teardrop with a bad attitude. We'll call the reaction to the squinty headlights and mean creases mixed while admitting that we kinda don't mind it. The Prius exterior is objectively ugly, but we're pleased that Toyota crafted a personality for its perennial snoozer. Our special edition tester adds to that expressive sheet metal with the usual gloss black touches automakers often reach for. You'll find dark elements on the wheels, mirror caps, front running light surrounds, and badging. The cabin, meanwhile, is where we take issue. Sure, you can argue that the center-mounted instrument cluster has become a Prius hallmark, but we'll continue to question why the damn thing can't just be in front of the driver. Center-mounted gauges thankfully lived a short life, aside from the Prius. The rest of the cabin is inoffensive enough, with the usual high-quality Toyota switchgear and an over-reliance on shiny black plastic. Besides that, most of the materials feel solid and appropriate for the price. Toyota restrained itself in tweaking the Say's cabin, although we bet the product planner that came up with the 2020 edition, floor mats wished they devised something that didn't reference that dumpster fire of a year. Annoying dash layout aside, the Prius interior is a rather pleasant place. The seats, though boring to look at, offer ample support and long-haul comfort along with a surprisingly fun seating position. There's a serious amount of legroom, so despite the compact car size, there's little chance of brushing your knees against the dash or the low center console. In back, the Prius plunging roofline takes a big chunk out of second row headroom, while the car's 180-inch length means that 33.4 inches of legroom will have to do. But while a Hyundai Ioniq has substantially more legroom, 35.7 inches, your 6'2 author squeezed in and found the Prius back seats suitable for short hikes. Children and young teens should be perfectly happy on the cushy bench, then. While the Prius earns plaudits for its efficiency, it also makes efficient use of space. The cargo hold, which retains liftback access, offers 24.7 cubic feet of space or nearly double the 13.1 cubic feet available in the Corolla. That said, the Ionic, which is about 4 inches shorter, has more space with the seats up, at 26.5 cubes.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.